Let's talk about the weirdest glitch I've ever come across in Stardew Valley, the never-ending summer. Reddit user Burn Brighter was just a normal guy playing through Stardew Valley for the first time ever. He fell in love with every aspect of the game, talking to the locals, working on his farm, making money, and in two years, he had even nearly completed his community center. But there's a single item that lay right outside the reach of Mr. Burn Brighter, the pomegranate. Every other bundle of the community center was completed, except for that one pomegranate. Burn Brighter's a man of intelligence and class, so naturally he chose the mushroom cave. So the only way for him to get his hands on this forbidden fruit was for him to wait until fall. But with summer almost over, Burn Brighter knew that the pomegranate was within his reach. He watched the graceful dances of the moonlit jellies and went to bed, knowing that tomorrow he'd wake up with his community center finally completed, bringing pride and joy to all of Stardew Valley. But that night, Disaster struck. Burn Brighter went to bed on summer 28, expecting to wake up on fall 1, just like he did last year. But instead, a nightmare began. When Burn Brighter awoke, he realized that something was wrong. The leaves did not change, his blueberries didn't wilt over, the ground was still filled with grapes and sweet peas when it should have been filled with hazelnuts and plums. Burn Brighter hadn't woken up on Fall 1. He'd woken up on Summer 29. The seasons hadn't changed. But maybe it was a fluke, a bad dream, a tiny glitch. He thought that maybe if he just played the day normally, that he'd wake up the next day entering Fall, just like he should. And he could finally get his hands on that pomegranate he so desperately sought. He harvested some blueberries, talked to his beautiful husband, Elliot, who assured him that everything would surely be back to normal tomorrow and went to bed for the night. But when Burn Brighter woke up, everything hadn't gone back to normal. It was still summer. Now, summer 30. He went back to bed, hoping that this nightmare would finally end. But it only got worse. Summer 31. Summer 32. Summer 33, 34, 35. The days went on and on, with no end in sight for this forever summer. When Burn Brighter posted about his story on Reddit, he had made it all the way to summer 69. By this point, he should be well into winter, and yet he stays trapped in summer. While Burn Brighter's never-ending summer is truly a horrifying tale, I couldn't help but be fascinated by this glitch. A season that never ends? I've played Stardew for nearly 1,000 hours, started up countless save files, and I've never even experienced anything close to something like this. I reached out to Burn Brighter and asked if he'd be willing to answer a couple of my questions to see if we get to the bottom of why exactly he was experiencing this problem. He humbly complied. So here's everything we know about his save file. He's playing on mobile on the most recent update of the Android version, version 1.4.5. I asked if anything weird had ever happened with his save before or if he's ever played with mods, but apparently the game was working absolutely normal up until this point, and he's only ever played the vanilla version of the game off the Google Play Store. Something else I was curious about is if time-based events still worked. Did weeks pass at all? But apparently, pretty much everything else is normal, bar the eternal summer season. His gift tallies with NPCs still reset every Sunday, and he still receives mail as he should. His calendar does look like this. Which is a little concerning, but that's it, really. Even the Queen of Sauce and Living Off Land are still progressing giving him tips about fall and winter, teasing a treasure that's just outside of reach. Even stranger than all this, when he loads into the game, the file select screen labels the day as fall. So when it's summer 63 in his game, the save file is labeled as fall 30. And you know, after hearing all this, I thought, you know, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. Burn Brighter's still able to play the game as normal, and summer is the most profitable season after all. I asked him if he's ever thought about this being a blessing instead of a curse, and, well, here's what he had to say. Well, here's the thing. As stated, I'm a very new player. I'm not super focused on making a huge amount of profits, and I'm more just enjoying getting to know NPCs, exploring the world and the lore, and organically discovering all that the game has to offer. While I'll admit the starfruit wine and blueberries are nice, 
I'm getting sick of the monotony, the endless buzzing of insects, and sweet peas and grapes everywhere I go. As much as I've been joking about it, playing is genuinely starting to feel like purgatory, living the same day over and over again, with no change on the horizon. It really makes me appreciate how integral the changing seasons are to Stardew Valley. How even if winter sucks, its approach and the anticipation of spring are part of what make the game fun. And that's all the game had become for him now. Day in and day out, summer every single day. And no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find anybody who had experienced this bug before or any possible fixes. And with the mobile update of Stardew still a ways off, it seemed like Burn Brighter was eternally doomed, forever stuck in purgatory for the rest of his days, forced to go day in and day out, stuck in the never-ending humidity of summer, a pomegranate just outside of his reach for the rest of his life. Until a bright shining light in the distance appeared, a beacon of hope, an angel to save Burn Brighter from this eternal purgatory. And that angel was a man named Blade. Blade is a fellow Stardew Valley content creator, and he's an absolute whiz at programming. He understands the Stardew code better than anyone else I know. On a whim, I reached out to him to see if he had ever seen anything like this glitch before. After hearing Burn Brighter's story, Blade said he couldn't make any promises, but if I sent him the game file, he might be able to fix it. Since Burn Brighter was playing on Android, luckily he was able to retrieve his save file data and send it over to Blade. Blade took a look at the file, and well, I'll let him explain what exactly it was he did. All right, let's have a look at this save. Day two. <laughs> it crashed. Did you see what day that was? It wasn't day 72 or summit, it was day 225 of fall. What, what, I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to touch the day's plate. I'm going to set the day to be what it should be with that amount of day's plate, which is the first of summer year four. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because a lot of the game logic around things like what's going to be on the TV is related to the day's played number not the day of month so that there should be enough to fix it we sent the new fixed file over to burn brighter but i was nervous when blade tried to load the file his game crashed twice had he really fixed the save file would burn brighter really be able to load in on summer of year four and 28 days later finally be able to see those forbidden red leaves he's waited to see for so long? Or would he still be trapped forever in that eternal summer? Well, he added the save file to his phone, loaded in, and... It worked. Finally, Burn Brighter could finally exit this eternal hell he had unwillingly trapped himself in. He loaded in and finally saw what he had been dreaming of this whole time. Fall. Oh accomplishing something that he never thought would be so hard to achieve. As he ran around the hazelnuts and plums, he went over to his pomegranate tree that had finally sprouted. With tears in his eyes, he carried that pomegranate over to the community center and finally finished it. Pelican Town had been reunited once again. Joja had been shooed out and honor brought back to Stardew Valley. And finally, even more than that, Burn Brighter could finally witness Stardew Valley in its truest form and never have to think about the summer that never ended ever again. Thank you guys all so much for checking out the video. I know it's a little bit different than the content I normally do on this channel, but hopefully you enjoyed the story of the eternal summer and Burn Brighter's tale. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Make sure you go check out my good friend Blade. Huge shout out to him. He gave this story the happy ending that we all deserved. Um, and yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.